Hey, what's up? I'm back. Well, making another video kind of soon, but I can only make so many more videos before Halloween. And what I'd like to document first is that we are passing the third quarter phase of the moon today. And um, I made a short video clip of that. Whoa, look at that moon. I tried taking it through my telescope, but the wind literally blew me down. I tried to blow down my telescope, so that's not going to work. But as you can see, it is out in the daytime. And what that means is that, unfortunately, you know, we have crossed over the line from which point the moon starts spending more time out in the day than it does at night. And while I should have made the video last night, it was kind of hazy and I needed some sleep. And I really thought it would be cool to sit out there with my telescope and take a video of the moon out in the daytime. But unfortunately, the wind had other ideas. Like if I had a wind chime right now, I mean, it would be going crazy. But that's a good thing because it means we're getting a cold front or a cool front. Um, and we're having some gale force winds ahead of it. And that is great, because if it gets down into the 40s by Halloween, hallelujah. But they won't have a moon, because it will be down during the time of trick-or-treat, but that shouldn't really affect my life. Anyway, first of all, today I would like to talk about a number of the dolls that didn't have any hair. And I said I would put hair on them. Well, here they are. You see, that's a little boy with a baseball shirt. And that's a little girl. See, she's still a baby. And she has a flower on her blouse. I didn't make that. So, what have you. The other thing I'd like to talk about is my Christmas lights. Um, I had Halloween lights this year. And I don't remember whether or not I saved my snowflakes from three years ago or more that I kept putting out every year. But I decided to go with something different this year a different kind of Christmas light so after Halloween we'll see what they look like they should be bright because they're LED and what I'd like to talk about regarding that is just how um remember I made that video about documenting my lack of holiday cheer almost two years ago well what I really mean by that is that you know, it's not that I have anything against Christmas, okay? Because I have absolutely nothing against Christmas or Halloween. Um, but I can only do so much as far as decorations. I can only put out as much as I can personally take down. Because my dad is such a procrastinator um, that if I put up decorations that he needs to help me put up, well, they will stay up longer into the new year than they were up before Christmas or whatever holiday. Um, and the apartment doesn't like you to have decorations more than 10 days into the following month. So November 10th is like the cutoff or deadline for taking down Halloween stuff. And January 10th is the deadline for taking down Christmas stuff. But my dad just thinks he can disregard that and just sit in his chair and not do anything and keep putting me off and putting me off and putting me off both to put it up and then take it down. Um, he's just not very punctual, like my mom and I try to be. Um, but he he just he just doesn't care. You know, the, hol the holiday can be well into the past and he just doesn't care. And my sister will put up Christmas decorations and just leave them up for years on end until the sun fades them. So I don't understand people like that. But I'd rather not put up any decorations that he will have to help me take down because it makes me very angry when he does that. Okay, so I'd rather have my little bitty string of lights because I'm tall enough to reach a door frame. I'm not exactly tall, but I can do that. And so I don't put up anything I can't take down. Um, anyway, what I'd like to talk about today is just one more video I want to title it Angelica's Diaper and Leggings, okay? Now, I'm really tired of talking about this subject, but Angelica on Rugrats, it just really, it makes me, 
it's so angry. It makes my skin crawl. When I see things, you know, people have this fantasy about her going back to diapers. And as I've stated before, which is why I will not allow comments, I don't believe she was ever potty trained to begin with. You know, I don't believe she ever wore real underwear. You know, as in real panties. And believe me, I know what panties look like. They have a crotch about this narrow for adult women. And that's not even the thong panties. Okay, that's just regular granny panties, so to speak. Regular panties have a crotch so thin in proportion to the undergarment. Okay, so it really makes me mad, you know, when people draw pictures of Angelica in a diaper and say, like, she's going back to diapers, you know, like as if she ever got out of them. Um, and it just really makes me mad because, and the other thing is they like to say that she wore a diaper over her tights, okay? You know, and, it, and that's just so stupid because they're idiots, okay? Because the reality of the situation, okay, is that in season one, okay, here was her diaper, and they were not over her tights. They were over leg warmers, okay? And what that means is she had a diaper, and I'm gonna make it real simple, my drawing, so that it's easy to draw. She had a diaper and she had two leggings. They were like tubes, okay? They were not like a pair of pants. I'll demonstrate on this doll. See, I actually made that. They were not, in season one, if, you know, if she was seen wearing a white diaper with her blue legging, you see, People didn't understand that, but that is an outdated or lesser known way to dress a baby, okay? It's something that people did when they would cloth diaper their baby. And she's wearing a diaper or white training pants with leggings, you know, they were tubes of material, okay? And the Angelica dolls make this very obvious because she's wearing her body is basically a shirt or blouse, an orange blouse with two leggings instead of legs coming out of it. And then the shoes are attached at the bottom. Okay, so in season one, she had a diaper with leggings. Okay, but somehow or another, for two reasons, they changed that. Okay, so basically, they played a trick on the viewer. They started coloring her diaper blue, or putting a blue diaper cover to match these. Okay, imagine this is shaded in blue. So they colored this blue, and they made it match in order to create the illusion of one continuous garment, like a pair of pants with polka dots, okay? So, you know, they played a trick for two reasons. Number one, um, they didn't think kids or most viewers would understand how or why she was wearing what she had on, okay? Because most people don't cloth diaper and they're not familiar with that look, you know, the diaper with leggings and perhaps a matching diaper cover. But you can still buy it today. They have people that make that. There's this website, babylegs.com. And it's for cloth diapering parents that want leggings for their baby in the winter time, especially, and especially for girls. Um, so she was supposed to be, I think, a cloth diaper baby in the beginning. So they wanted it to not look so weird to people who had never done cloth diapers or never heard of that. And they wanted to create this illusion that she was potty trained. Okay, because, yeah, as I've stated before, the reasons why they did that, you know, they wanted to potty train Chucky, although he still looks padded, so to speak. He doesn't look to be wearing real underwear. Um, but they wanted to create the illusion that she was potty trained by potty training Chucky, a younger boy, and introducing Susie, whose bodily functions had never been mentioned. Um... So, you know, it just, it just really makes me mad, you know, that people will say that because Chucky is potty trained and, you know, 
they just stop mentioning her bodily functions, well, that automatically means she's potty trained because she's older, she's talking, and she's a girl. Okay? And they did that to gaslight the viewer. Um, but what you don't understand is that in while in real life, you know, girls are way ahead of boys in potty training because they're way ahead in talking and other things, and they do everything sitting down, guess where the Rugrats don't live? The real world, okay? So because they're not real people, you know, they can violate the laws of physics and, you know, what would normally happen with real children. You know, normally you'd have a girl potty train, you know, well before a boy and especially a younger one. Okay, but since the Rugrats are fictional, you know, and they can do whatever they want with them, they can potty train Chucky ahead of Angelica and not really tell the viewer because it would be a bad influence and because, you know, kids wouldn't want to wear her on their clothing were they to know that she's a three-year-old in a diaper. Um, but they always drop hints here and there that went over the heads of the viewer. Um, but what, you know, what really makes me mad, you know, that I've stated before is, you know, my definition of potty trained is, is, is much more strict. Okay, and, and I've already talked about what I mean by that. I mean, if you are not at the thong level of potty training, you know, if you are not to the point where, yeah, you know, like, I mean, think about it this way. Let's say they were real people and they wore no underwear beneath the nightshirt and they sat on this couch, okay? If you would not be okay with that, like if they need to wear some sort of undergarment, you know, training pants, diapers, I don't care what you call it, training pants are in the diaper family. Um, or if they're not at the thong level of potty training, you know, like if they can't wear a white thong bikini, like a G-string. Um, you know, if, if, if Angelica, let's say, like if she can't wear something like this, a little bitty white thong, and at the end of the day, you have no idea whether or not she's had a BM, meaning you know, they don't wipe so clean that it's like they never poop as far as whoever does their laundry is concerned. You know, and of course, men never achieve that level of potty training in most cases. Um, so if they're not to that level of potty training. They are not potty trained. You know, if, if they're still farting in their clothes like my sister, you know, potty trained means you are trained for all three functions. It means you hold in your farts to the point where you only do it in the toilet. My body will pretty much only permit me to do it in the toilet. I'm that trained, okay? So if they're not to that level, they're not potty trained, you know? And I will not wear them on my clothing, and I really don't care about the reboot. 